There's a rat in my kitchen, what am I gonna do? There's a rat in my kitchen, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna fix that rat, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix that rat. Yeah, Planning, we're planning, bro. Yeah, mate, planning. planning, we're on route. We're going out. Ball builders are friends today. We are going to see Ollie um, from Gold Pest Control. Me and Ollie had a connection last time I saw Ollie. I've yeah. only ever met him once, and we did um, we did a the thing the for Checker Trade on the block yep. where we was in the van. We had to pick him up for work, and he jumped in the van, and we interviewed him, whatever else. And I found out Ollie opened up, and yeah, Ollie got through incurable cancer, and now he's in full. They call it remission, full yeah. remission. It's full remission, and I was gas, bro. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the? And I was like that. So happy for the boy. And we just had this connection, and it felt like this is the gospel truth. Felt like God has sent him to me on that day, and we just something happened. I don't know why. So I'm intrigued to see if the day is as good. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm very, yeah. I'm very up for the day, and I'm very looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, we're meeting two of his workers as well. Oh, okay. yeah, technician and I think he's got like an apprentice. So I went to the shop and got some chocolate bars before he turned up for him as I guess, and I picked these gold bars up. Never buy them. And, we and then he turned up in a logo. I said, bro, what's the connection? We've got to get to sing right in my kitchen. 100%. <laughs> you reckon? Hello, Sam G. Hello, Ethan G. Where are we off to? We are off the Gold Pest Control, which is in Hemel Hempstead. Hempstead. Firstly, going to Gary's shop to pick up um, the hat school, uh, Mr. Ollie, the Gold, gold pest, control, pest, control. pest Control Man. <laughs> Doing they're merch, world cool. They look unreal. Yeah, bad. We will be doing merch uh, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. You gotta wear that. That's for work. Oh, these are cool. It's right. working. Oh yeah. We Come will on. be getting hats. They will be going live very soon. They yeah. might even be up by the time this video goes up. Oh, might be. Ready? Yeah. We will keep you posted. Real, mm. they're sick. Bro. They are really good, though. An ancient wise Chinese philosopher once said, a man that goes to bed with an itchy butt will wake up with a smelly finger in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play the diesel game. We're gonna step up into the, up to the pump, start to fill. How much do you think we're gonna put in? Everyone get your guesses in the hat. We are three quarters of a tank. So we need okay. to put a quarter of a tank in the van, yeah? Right. And we want to know how much is going in. So I've got my hat. My guess is 44 quid in the hat. What's 38. yours? 38. 38 from Sam in the hat. What's yours? 52. 52. Dad's in the hat. What's yours? I'm going 36.50. 36.50 in the hat. Right. I can't remember them, but you will because you've got the camera on. We're going to go and see how much it takes to fill the tank. 169.9. 170 per litre. Right. Go. I can't even remember what I said. Right, listen, now you've got to check. Make sure that's not carrying on. Start again, check. I need to do it one more time. We know the machine is calibrated. We can carry on. We're not getting scammed. I don't know, look, here we go. 30, you, you're coming up now. Come on. Ah. 30. It's going past you, bro. 15, no. Oh. That was the first click. Oi, I might be bang on. <gasps> that was the second click. We go one more. Oh no, Sam's won then. 37. Sam's won. Just, 37 quid. That what is a. Sam? Do you know what? I'm happy actually. My accountant will be happy as well. Let me put your breakfast in your little bowl. <laughs> what? Ethan, go on. Oh, yes, bro. Oh, Thanks, mate. Sam, you're on. I love these. I've had them on the feed job. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a perfect opportunity for me to show you the Tradefly app. Ooh. Sam, uh, my mate Sam, yeah. he there now, he's very clever. So what he's going to do is he's going to put the screen that I'm showing you mm -hmm. on the screen. 
Wow. That's he's a very, lot of screens. He's a very clever man. But I was going through, I'm still learning Trade of Fire, obviously I'm going through it. But I found out, there's a little, I might as well show you. Okay, well I can't uh, see it. Oh, you can't? No. But basically, <laughs> there's a little button on here, Upload, uh, download the Trade of Fire app, and you click Scheduler, right? Right. And you know how busy we are. Yeah. So this is a diary with everything on it that you can possibly imagine. So if you're, say I'm sending you to a job to go and film a motorbike driving around a track, yep. for example, or you're going to put up a shelf or you're going to go and do a bathroom, yep. I can basically add in what you're doing, where it is, the start time, the finish date. So if you're on the job for a week or you're on there for a short time, I can type in you as a staff member it will come up on the screen. Yeah. I can add you as a staff member, do your name, Ethan Mann, everything in there. Yep. Then you have the Tradeify app as well, and you will be able to see what job you're on, where you're going, and what you've got to do each day. How easy is that? Imagine waking up in the morning, putting the coffee on, uploading the Tradeify app. Right, I've got to be in Brighton for eight o'clock. I've got that job to do, then, oh, lovely, I'm going to do two o'clock and I'm going there. That is handy. So how, simple. How much bro. do I call you asking what I'm doing today? Exactly. Because now you've got your own diary. All in the Trade of Fire app. Simple, mate. And you can also integrate, which I found very useful, Zero, QuickBooks and Sage. All in the Trade of Fire app. But I just think that schedule is so important to keep track of your staff or even yourself, just for yourself is, is good enough because then you can say, oh, right, I'm going there today. Job done, simple, mate. So if you haven't already, download the Tradefy app, use code <laughs> Ball Builders, and you get 50% off for the first three months. Yeah. My wife said to me she likes the rough look, so I've gone rough. Okay. So now I'm back building, obviously now we're doing the house again and uh, I'm in my dirties every day. She yep. said I quite like the fact that you look a little bit rough and ragged. So I've got a little bit of rough for my that baby. Is why a and that's why there's a fifth baby <laughs> on the way in July. <laughs> she says you are looking rough boy, come here tiger. And all that. <laughs> we're nine minutes away from seeing our friend at Gold. Mr. Gold Bar. We are gold! Isn't that very good though? I was just one. staring at that there, I was just daydreaming, I was staring at that, it's very nice. Co-branded. Sam, bro. Very nice. Yeah. Why are you being nasty to me? I'm just saying, you need your haircut. Oh, I noticed that this morning it's all hanging out your hair, oh, out your hat. Yours was all sticking up earlier. Yeah, my hair's bad, bro. <laughs> oh, man, they're dead. <laughs> Never come off anyway, so you're always here. Oh, that's horrible, man. Yeah, that's savage, bro. Go on, take it. Take it all, bro. I reckon you keep your hat like that for the rest of the day as well. You look really cool. Look at that. Look at that, Eve. Look at them bands. Look, he has had them cleaned and everything ready for today. He ain't messing about, bro. Yes, 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 we're the wicked and the best. What's he Hello, saying? Brother. What's he saying? Was What's it he long, saying? Was it a long drive? Or? Two hours and a half. Is it? Two and a half. How are you, brother? You yeah. good? Good, very good. This is Ollie on the right. What's He's down, Ollie. That's my apprentice, uh, Denny. Denny and Ollie, yeah? Hey, Lovely to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Oh, we're not over going, we're going with that, yeah? yeah? Come on, you know the youth of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to spot. How old are you, bro? Yeah, might you might need him. My daughter's age. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, happy birthday, birthday, birthday. oi. Oh, happy birthday. birthday. 19 day, 19 today. Go on, son. How's it going, mate? Ollie, how you going, mate? How are you, mate? You good? Denny, 19 today. He said, my dad's like 40, but he looks 30. I said, I'm 39, but I look 21. He went, <laughs> Did he lie? You know things are? Uh, nah, I can't lie. How old, bro? 35. I don't know that, bro. I'll go with that, bro. 39 next week. No, April. I'll go with 35. How old's he? That's my brother. How old's he? He looks younger. Well, he so is. He's 29. How no. Yeah, I'll take that. How old is he? 32. Oh, no, yeah, and what about him? Yeah. He looks young as well. 29. Bang on. Yeah, well done, mate. Hey, he looks quite young. Uh, 24, 25. Bang 25. on, train cars. Good. <laughs> Good. Riddance here. Four part rodent riddance. We come once a week over a month to eradicate what's there. Sometimes we'll extend it to once every two weeks, over eight weeks. We've got traps in there, a combination of traps and bait. And then on the final visit, we do proofing, blocking any holes and gaps. This is visit two. So we might find something. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 
Today's episode of the Ball Builders and Friends is sponsored by our mates at CT1. Often copied, never equaled. There's only one CT1. A couple of rat jobs we're going to check on. We've got a drain survey and then a little textile pest one. Yeah, yeah. Do they call you uh, Ollie Ventura? No, I like the way you look at party's motors face <laughs> on face. <laughs> we need you boys standing next to your whips each as well. <laughs> they get through six millimetre holes, same size as a pencil. Wow. So they probably come round the pipe work, so we seal all that in and stuff like that. But come in. Mm. Right. Possibly, right. yeah. Possibly, yeah. I'm get these off. Do you want to help me get this one? Yeah. Pull it down. Yeah. No, just pull it towards. Just get tired, eh? Where? No one's out. Have you got a net or something so we can catch it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you fucking net! Ross, clacking now, brother! I see that come out! I was just waiting for that! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for that we could jump on me, bro! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming! I felt it! I knew it was coming! I thought it was a client's house! He's not playing it as well, bro! He's got the control! <laughs> to be fair, I'll put, I'll put mouse traps in that under anyway so we can make out that it is like a mouse trap. Because this is what we do. We put the mouse traps under here. <laughs> Yeah, and we come once a week over the month yeah. to get yeah, catching the rabbit bait and mice here. Did I catch up? Nah, it's fun. But yeah, so these are the mouse ones. We use rat ones as well, which are a bit bigger. We'll come once a week um, over a month. Sometimes we'll extend it to once every two weeks over eight weeks. And we use these as well. These are tamper resistant if you've got pets or anything, or kids, they can't get inside it and you've got a bit of poison in this. If we want to do it non-toxic, we just put a non-toxic bait in there, or a non-toxic block. And we just use traps, but yeah, there is nothing here. There's no pests here, don't worry. <laughs> but there is a big old rat, bro. Rat in my kitchen, what am I gonna do? There's a rat in my kitchen, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna fix that rat, that's what I'm gonna yeah. do. I'm gonna fix that rat. <laughs> yeah, bro! <laughs> do you know what though? It's Matt, we oh, said we was going to do that to them, but yeah. they got us. <laughs> 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 yeah. Donuts, biscuits. Woo. Add some bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Look at him, so. Oh, man's punching, bro. <laughs> 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 what did he say? My man's punching. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I had mine for ages and the dog just ruined it, so now, now I've got that, it looks clean all the time. Yeah. Mm. You don't know what we I got did you club, I wondered if you oh, oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah, spicy food, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay, That's brave. What, have you What's got that? spicy food? Uh, what, well, you got well, this spicy food? Oh, you got it on you now? You got it on you now? Yeah. Yeah, I'll try it now if you want. We're doing it in a minute. We're doing it in a minute because we don't want to send you home. We don't want to send you home, send you home now, bro. Just yet. He's he brave, it. though, bro. He's brave. Oh, <laughs> Listen, we done it with a scaffolder. Yeah. Big man scaffolder. 19, 20. Yeah. Same old. So big. Yeah. Sent him home. Yes, yeah. really. Wait, we what? all three of your experiences. <laughs> He's up for it as well. He's up I won't go do jobs, mate. I'm out. <laughs> that made me jump. I, I swear to God, that made me prank. Go <laughs> on, you driving it. I'm going to take that for Frank. Sage and Frank, yeah, they play with that with their mum. Oh, is it a present they gave it? Yeah, to he you? let me have it, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to take that to my kids. They're going to love that, bro. Oh, you done all that as well, yeah. yeah. We subcontract it out, but we've got people yeah, yeah. with rope access. There's well bad here. We took 280 rats from the basement. We look after this whole parade of shops here. Uh, come here once a month. Do ya? Yeah, but um, it, it's much better now. But still like good business, isn't it? It's that regular good business, isn't it? Well, the main thing is a lot of people don't understand is um, it's educate people. Yeah. Like, you walk up, you look around now, mate. This is tidier than it used to be. Yeah. I just come here, literally pulling my hair out every time. It's like. These bins, I've got to like lock them. No wonder so why it was rubbish. Yeah, you pigeons rats. ripping the bags up at the top. Gotcha. I'll be stood here as I'm watching the pigeons. I was watching rat run beneath the pigeons, grab wow. the bit of thing that's dropped. Yeah. And I just feel like I'm walking around doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Bad mate. 
So you've got to educate the people to look after the bit of plays, and that helps keep it all contained and that. Yeah, I'm with you. That's it, mate. You go, I knew it was going to be you that get down there. Because I'm the only one that works, bro. As soon as you say kiss hand, these boys scoff. <laughs> what? What? I was trying to keep What, you want me to go work? Dog nah, under control, nah, 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 bro. <laughs> Who's the first one to jump in for work? Do you see that yeah, straight away? Yeah, down and dirty, cuz. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Is it just a monthly fee you charge, or, or when it's just... So when we first done it, we obviously charged the wood of bird work, and we've done like a big riddance, so we yeah. come once a week. And now we just come once a month and we give them recommendations, but all these shops, all the way along to the end of this building here, we look after, so they're all on contract. We come here once every six weeks to check them. <clears throat> but there's not really much to do in the shops themselves. But if they don't, if they don't take your recommendations, well, the problem is this side work. here. This side here are, are from a different landlord. Yeah. So none of these are on contract. That's the car park is. Right. And what they do is these pizza shops, is they just leave them down yeah. side. Yeah. And this here, they yeah. could cause vermin, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Got to look after it. These external boxes. I don't know. We caught one already. It's one hanging out there. Oh yeah, look. You've got a uh, gloves on. Yeah. yeah, there's one. <clears throat> There's one in the trap, boy. Get down and dirty. Your turn. <laughs> really? This, nah, this I don't bad. like all that. I'm not even an animal kind of guy. I like, I like humans. <laughs> so it's gone in there to get the bit of So glass. yeah, we use chocolate spread or peanut butter. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a young one as well. It's quite small. Is that, like, is that painful for it or just instant? Nah, instant. It's the Bang. most humane way of killing the rat. Yeah. Because it's instant. Break back traps, kills it straight away. Whereas right if, when they eat it. poison, Poison's no good, is it? Because they start eating it and then they, it takes them a while. And then do they not travel it with poison? They can just stop travel it, moving it around a little and bit. And also, no? you cause secondary poisoning if another, if a cat comes and eats it. And, and that's what I mean then, yeah, yeah, it moves it around, doesn't yeah. it? Like a virus then, it just travels. Mm. See that, it's instant. <coughs> yeah, we was so bad, we took 280 rats. What, out of this car park? Two around the, out of the basement down there, yeah. It was in about two months. It was, it was proper mental here, mate. 280? Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh. it's like, um, <laughs> that film Ratatouille, isn't it? You leave these up against a water floor junction like this because they can't see very well, rats or mice. So they use their whiskers to, they'll run along the perimeter and they'll go straight in the box. But, I always wonder why they run along. Yeah, that's why they. So the whiskers tells them. If you've got, um, if you've got um, a gap under the door, this way you fit these, they'll just go straight under it. <laughs> no, that's a big rat. <laughs> so we have got on this site, we have got a combination of bait and uh, traps because it is quite a heavily infested site. But what we do is, um, when you've got bait inside these boxes, rats will hoard the bait. So you have to have it on the bar legally and you have to have the warning labour on it. They'll, they'll eat in the box and move on, but if some people don't put it on the bar, they'll just drag the bait out, so it has to legally be on the bar as well. There's not a rat in his kitchen, but there's a rat outside. How many rats do you reckon you get rid of? Yeah. Loads, man. Loads? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is the main area. Uh, pipe up into the, all the shops, and that's why all the shops have issues. And obviously, when you get dead rat, it sticks. Yeah. So, You'd have thought there'd have been a door on this or something, though. Proper clean, sectioned off. I know. They don't oh. want to spend the money, do they? Well, See this cool. here? We've, we've concreted all this pipe work in because they were literally burrowing from Coming here. through there. Yeah, all the way through. That ain't the right key. Oh, this one there. That's quite a big one. Oh, that's a big boy. Boy, he's got a chinchilla one. Is that a mouse? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big one. When people have these in the house, we do things a bit different. We do a four-part riddance, slightly different to mice. If there are rats in the house and you're hearing them in your wall voids and stuff, it's always going to be linked to the drain. It's 80 to 90% yeah. of the time. You got they live in the sewers. Yeah. It could be a damaged pipe or a dumped pipe. So today we've got a drain guy coming out to survey the drains. Watch He's a guy that I use. We'll be meeting him on site and uh, check it all. But well, with awesome. the camera and that down the drain. Yep. Uh, and I just spotted. Man's got new shoes on. Uh, Come on, bro! That's what they said. Man's got new shoes on. <laughs> All right, we're coming now. We're not long. We're not far away. I had someone I used to work with. He hit a mouse in my shoe, and my oh. motor was stinking oh. in the back of my. Oh. I'll put one in your motor later. You'll see what I'm doing. <laughs> no, mate, how you doing? Yeah, good mate, Tom. I'm not, mate. You're doing right. Jake. How you doing, mate? Yeah, good mate, Tom. Big rats.
<laughs> but so saying we've got some traps underneath the kitchen units. We've caught how many have we caught? We caught two, haven't we? Two here, one next door. And you're just hearing them. I haven't heard, to be honest, I haven't heard anything since Christmas, but then obviously found the dog's treats have been going missing and Yeah. On, on average, when it's mice, you get they do on average 80 drop-ins a night, so you know it's mice. And because there was, we thought it was mice initially, but because there was no drop-ins, I suspected it was rats. And then there was. Mm. Nothing in the traps. Nothing in there, Katie. Today. Which is good. If you can see, there's like gaps. I don't know if you can see on the video at the back, we'll be sealing all, the, all them in on the final visit and we're going to look at the drains today to work out how they're getting in there. You got one, yeah. and then about two days after it was there. I wasn't yeah. expecting it to be there that quick. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is yeah. that out here, I've got a. Um, what, pulled out? Yeah. I wonder if there's any holes. There's no holes that lead from here into there. No. That is weird though. It's never been pulled up before, it's been up like five years. Okay. But only because he said obviously it was, he's had them in, sorry, he's had them in the loft. Yeah. And it's obviously fallen off his thing and I was just, I, no. know, I mean I don't know how it's gonna no, jump. Bit, or, do they jump? Yeah. No, not really. No. So, well we can get some external boxes out here for the next visit and we'll just keep them down for a bit. Um, another thing with rats, the rats are neurophobic so they're scared of new objects. Once you put the traps in place, most of the time, it takes seven to 14 days before they even go near the traps. Um, but we caught within three days, we took one out. So we've taken two out of here. Um, Justin, is that all right there? Do you know what he's like? Yeah. He's like the rat whisperer. Yeah. Um, Most firms, the rats would never have come. It's because he whispers to them. That's it. Yeah. You know what else as well, what happens? Some people, when they, they do the extensions, they build over the old man. Yeah. So they don't cover them properly. Because this one's been built over. Has it? And then and the move it out. They have, they've moved it here. That's why Josh is going to look here. But what, and they never filled it? Whether or not it's been capped off. Or, I'm with you. Yeah, then they can just get in. And, free run, yeah. <laughs> that jacket don't look, that jacket looks brand new yes, as well. and them trousers. I just like to wash it. No <laughs> way, that ain't a used bit of that. No got way. got a tag on it still. Come right? here, that's brand new, isn't it? Yeah, Tell hey. me. I, I hope I took the tag off and that <laughs> That jacket is new, cunt. Mate, Don't uh, lie to me, bro. I'm going to go wash these in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Start screaming. Yeah, but that's how it goes wrong. So, oh, so you've never been stung? I went, nah, nah, never been stung. <laughs> It was like one of these storage boxes. Me, she's mid talk to me, so I'm sort of like looking through the gap. Don't feel like I can see it. I'm like, lift it up. The nest was connected to the lid, so I ripped up, she opened the lid, the lid shot, she's been it's spanked. Funny, don't wear jumped suit. over her fence. And, was like, <laughs> <"It's> real, <laughs> <laughs> and he gets so angry with me, he walks out like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hot fuzz in it, we just go through the gate. Straight through. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was out. I was most of the time, it'd be after the roof or something, so you pretty much just extend the lights, you're miles away anyway. Pump the dust in there. Does that knock them out? Wait. So what it is is basically the reason you use dust is insecticide, so we'll kill them. But basically the whole point is is when they travel in and out, so let's say it's just a hole like on the brickwork. When they're traveling out, because they send a signal saying we're in trouble, so all their boys are gonna come to back them up. So when they're traveling in and out, see what's going on, they're actually traveling the dust in further for me. Gotcha. Yeah. So before you know, after a couple of hours, it's just done nothing the job moving. For you. Yeah. Done the job for yeah, exactly. you. Exactly. E junction where the toilet is. We can't get it round it, so, uh, okay. so we may have to just fit a non-return valve. But at the moment, nothing. There's no problems. It just needs descaling. He said it's a bit dirty. Needs descaling, but that wouldn't cause rats. If we can't find the obvious points they're ingressing from, we put down the track and dust on the first visit. They walk through it, and then we use a ULV oh, light, and you can see their footprints. Oh, yeah. Did you don't use no toxic stuff? We well, do non toxic, it, but stay, depends like... on. So if it's rats, we won't use toxic because if they eat the poison, they die in the wall cavity. It could take months for it to decompose. It will stink for a month, and then they'll get flies, maggots. That's one reason we won't use it. But with mice, we do use it, but we use the minimum amount, yeah, yeah. especially if you're doing insecticide sprays for insects. Some people would just spray the house full of chemicals, and, and they thought that was casual links to my cancer. So because of that, we've got these units where we only use the minimum amount, and we try and do it as a last resort. We'd rather use heat or steam. 
like 180 degrees dry steam for stuff like that than use yeah, chemicals. Yeah. 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 I like it, guys. I'm not sending one of my kids to school. <laughs> you got a little bit, of, little bit of short change in there, Vaseline. Guess what I got in my pockets? Vaseline and a little bit of short change, bro. <laughs> We're the same, but I carry it in my pockets. Yeah. Right, this one yours? This is my one, yeah. Van well, check. <laughs> Check. I've got a little present for you, Chris. Oh, no, He's called him Chris. He's called him Chris. Right, in that bag, mate. Yeah. I'm hey, that. We've oh. never been, I've done a van check on a pest control van, so we're no. going to do both of them. He's, he, he seems like you do more work. Yeah, yeah, you got more done, tools. Well, done done a lot of you got more tools. This man, this is for show, bro. This yeah. is the pricing van. I can see. To be that. fair, we use this van for clearances as well, so that's to be empty. He's got a brand new tool bag, bro. <laughs> That's fresh. My man's been to Aldi and bought himself a tool bag, Keith. <laughs> That's what he's been to Aldi. That's middle aisle. I'll bro. just take care of my stuff. <laughs> that is middle, That's aisle, middle aisle, three quid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a middle aisle tool bag, <laughs> trust me. He's eating peanut butter. And he's getting inside, tracks. In. What's in that bag there, rats? Huh? Oh, yeah. got the tool bag. I've got the tool bag. Oh, wow. Aldi. <laughs> Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we just took yeah, out? These are, these are rodents ready to, to go for a contaminated waste. In here we've got some boxes. Is that what you do with them then? Yeah. We've got... Uh, you don't just stick them in the bins? No, no, no. We've got traps here. We've got some... Um, this is non-toxic powder. It's uh, called Dodge Mesa's Earth. I use this when we've got moths or something. We'll do a heat treatment. We'll put this in the cracks and crevices and it dries out the insect's body. Um, and yeah, releases moisture, causing them to die. Completely non-toxic. You can actually eat that. Um, We've got medikit, obviously, you need the medikit. Wow, that smells like a body van in there. You've got some traps in there. That smells like an undertaker's van. What, my one? Yeah. Yeah. My bad, our old man's an undertaker and that smells like bodies. Yeah, I mean, he, he throws all the dead rats in there. That's so. what that is, that's a hum. Yeah. I need a tin of paint as well. Yeah. I've got one. Is this all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you can't. laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> right, I think that band's quite basic, quite simple, very tidy. Mm -hmm. right. It does smell like dead bodies in the front. That's not that great. Let's go and do the other way. Come on. I'm going to give him an eight. What it's good. It is good. The outside. You know what he wow. just said to me? He thinks I was born yesterday, cuz. He went, we had no idea, darling, we were going to be checking our vans. <laughs> yeah. This is standard and how we keep our vans all of the time. I was like, yeah, right. Like, Hence why you just said to me a minute ago, when we're doing van check. <laughs> See, that's neat, I'll have to add yeah. the box. So you've got, uh, these are insect detectors. You've got your tamper resistant boxes, your external boxes, gloves here, nice. drill. This is all like proofing equipment when we're blocking holes and gaps, bit of wire mesh, wire wool. Will it not come through that hole then, that, that hole? No, no, no. Nothing to get Six millimetres, they won't Six. get through that. Um, Hoover, more traps in here. You've got all your chemicals. Neat. Exodus unit, which is ULV I'm unit going for, for the sector side. Wasp kit. I'm going for the sniff. Everything you need. Oh, there, and there's a steamer at the back there as well for 180 degrees dry steam, non-toxic treatment and spray. Hey, so this, this don't smell like death. <laughs> this don't smell like death. They both definitely shop at Aldi because they've both been to the central aisle. So, uh, this is from Kill Jam. So uh, my suppliers, there's expensive bags. These are cheap Aldi bags. Well, I want a refund. One works though and one don't. One works yeah. and one oh, don't. Said, do you know what I said though? He's been dragging this along the floor. Look. Yeah, mate, no, he's he working, bro. <laughs> he said today, he went, can I take your bag today? <laughs> he actually said that. <laughs> you're, you're a grafter, like, you're out grafting. I like it. You're hungry. You're hungry for chili, big man. We're going to do the chili and then we're going to go and line his stomach afterwards with a nice breakfast or sandwich or whatever because he needs something. Oh, no good. Disclaimer though, you're not being bullied into doing this. Yeah, no, I want to do it, I want to do it. Yeah. I volunteered. And please do not do a whole chili. Right. I beg you don't do a whole chili. Have right. a good bite, but not a whole chili. Over to you, Maestro. Yes. That's, right. That's huge. Jesus Christ. Look at this, what is, it? What is this? These are you... Carolina oh, Reaper World's oh, Hottest Chili. Oh, fire, little man. Yeah, and nervous, Danny man. actually oh, wants to do this. Yeah, man. Just oh, a little fire. disclaimer, you're a fully trained... Have you got two of them? 
Uh, so let's you don't eat the whole thing. Don't double dip. Is don't nice? double come dip. On, this ain't a dip down. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't a dip down, bro. <laughs> don't <laughs> be going nowhere, cuz. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't swear. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish this, man. I'll finish this, man. Show. <laughs> <your eyes>. so? <laughs> How hot is that, cuz? Let me look Mate, this is. You know, he said in life you learn lessons. That was one of them, man. <laughs> Get an <help. laughs> That little bit cold. <laughs> Happy birthday! Yeah, you're one of them. Happy birthday, sweet. Nah, cool. Thanks, though. That's not. That's not the one. It's gone. It's gone now. It's gone now. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm good now, man. I was gonna do the whole thing, but. No. You need oh, I said to you. You had breakfast. Yeah, yeah, I've eaten. I've eaten. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> good now, though. <laughs> At least I know, I've done it though. That's it mate, you I can tick that off your bucket list. I've experienced it. <laughs> you won't be doing it again, will nah, you? Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Should have used T-Rex on that, mate. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> we have actually. <laughs> actually, you should. <laughs> 15 pound a roll with it for a discount. <laughs> Here we go, eh? Hey, look, my mum's called Jenny and all. It's like one of them old school proper like Oh, nice. It's got oh, a retro. Is. How old school is this? <laughs> No? No? After the chemo, I, I started proper losing all the air. I'll show you, you'll see how bad my receding airline was before this. You won't believe it. But this was me before. Yeah, that's what mine have broke. Mental. That's crazy. This is me, look at the after, the back of my head. Because they take it from the back. I actually done some sparring the other day in Bushy. 16 year old, amateur. Oh, lovely. Crap my rib. Thank you, my love. That's yeah. all right. My bones are a bit brutal still, but yeah. I went in with him. He's been doing two years. He's had six fights. Two years on socks. My first bit of uh, sparring for. I thought he's a young boy. I threw one punch, cracked me straight through. And now I've been out for like a couple of weeks. That's all it takes, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, mate. Do a bit of Muay Thai. What's that? Do a bit of Muay Thai. Muay Thai. What's Muay Thai? Yeah, yeah. with, the, with the cows in yeah, there? Yeah, kick, kick, one, two, bang. <laughs> one, one, two, bang, give some milkshake. Bosh. <laughs> we did have one for Ollie, Ollie, the other Ollie. Yeah, I've got him one, but he won't hit. But he left. He left to go and do another job. He missed out on the brekkie, bruv. So they are for you. And one's oh, for they're wicked, man. Fair play, man. That's decent. They're some of the best ones that girls love. Fresh, man. I love that. I don't think I'll give all the other one. I think that's fair. Is it? Guys are a dozen for us. He's the man, bro. That's wicked. Yeah, if I, well, if I do need it, just. Yeah. Yeah. Guys are the man. If you want any of the embroidery, 3D, wood, anything, everything. Powerful, man. I love that. Thank you. And you've got the bulk building. Yeah, that's it, bro. This is a box from CT1, so it's got uh, mainly CT1 in there uh, and P Powergram 1, which is the. Um, oh, adhesive. Sweet. Spot on. That's decent. Adhesive. This is all perfect. You'll see later when we go to uh, the, the last one or the next one. There's a, we've done all the air bricks for them. We use this to stick them on, so that's, that's perfect. That's it, perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than drilling yeah, This is much better than the other stuff you Yeah, yeah. And this good. is our famous bits and bobs box. It's <laughs> good for days, guys. Yeah, this is decent. From Hammer, and this is just a big paint box, paint range, it's got all their like, new the trade man. range in it. Thank you very much, man. So if you ever do some painting, make sure you use Hammer, and I'll open it come it for the camera. <laughs> Otherwise, we What's that? Off. If you don't use Hammer, yeah, yeah. we're gonna come after him. Powerful. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. You're, um, you'll Top be rolling Thank to you. the next job. So how do you normally find their people? Are they, are they just recommendations that you do these builders and friends with? Yeah, some contact us and, and some we, we look through. We have to be look through and we've got them ourselves. Yeah. Some are through what you'd recommend. Because I didn't think that you would really do pest control, but I guess it is another... Come on, it's on the train. Yeah. And it's about, do you know what it is wow. as well? Do you know what it is? With four builders and friends, that's why we never, never called it ball builders and building friends. Yeah. All right, ball builders and friends. Anyone who's a character, we're all doing socials, we're all out there running the business. Exposure, why not? Isn't it? It's, it's, it's characters. Use the characters, it works really well. Sometimes we've been to a couple and they're not. 
it's hard work sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's hard work, and it's just where they're a little bit sh not, not they're not characters, they're just shy. I bet when the camera ain't there, they're great characters. But when the camera's in front of them, they just bubble up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I like these laurels. Are they laurels? Yeah. Laurel. That's what I want in mine. The other side of my fence, yeah. like that. We're monitoring here for textile pests. He had an issue in here with, with moths. So what we do is we put insect detectors which are impregnated with the female hormone of the textile pest. We put them around the house. We come uh, once a week for the first month to check them, see how much activity there is. And then we can do a heat treatment of the whole house. We, we heat the, the house up to 57 degrees, hold it at a core temperature, and it kills all life stages of the insects. We then leave these in place and we come once every quarter. We hang these in the cupboard, obviously put the inserts inside with the uh, detectors in there. We come uh, once every quarter and check and if there's any activity, we'll treat that area again. So when the pests get bold, cool go. <laughs> the crocs are the one. Crocs are different level cars. You, you Comfy. Can, you're I like them. Me, bro. Yeah. You're confusing me. Yeah, I mean, crocs they don't look good, but he loves them. Neither does a man bun, but he's got them. Neither does a man bun, but he's got them. They're just jealous because they're receding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. About to do, bro. We're about to do the Hamilton straight line challenge. It's the Hamilton trade brush. <laughs> it's a two inch cutting in brush made for the trade. It's got a slant angle in it. It doesn't leak bristles like myself. I've leaked too many over my time. So that's why I like the Hamilton. It's perfect for me. Stick that in me out there, look. That goes in there like that. And then basically we're gonna go head to head. We're gonna see who can paint a line a meter long the levelist bang on to the measurement. So the rules are single dip, yeah? yeah? Load your brush up how you want, dip that back. As soon as it hits the ball, it can't come off. Who's going first? You first, you first, Sam this time. It's Sam's okay. turn, yeah? It's got to be Bosch, what, wherever you stop, you stop. It's got to be a meter in length, yeah. the levelist. All right? Meter long. Straight line challenge. That ain't bad. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. Over a meter, Sam. Oh, Sam, what have you done? What are you saying about the brush? Know, it's, right. it's a bit thick at the end, cuz. Can I? You went the wrong way with the brush. It's easier going second, but, isn't it? He smashed me there, but he is on the piss a no, bit. No, I don't know, though. He's on the piss a bit. I don't know. Where's the tape measure? Yeah, look, he's nine. 9.30, and then what was you again? You was 8. It's almost like you marked the ball. 8.80. So he beat me then. 8.80, 9.30. So that's a difference between there and there. So what's Sam's at? Where's Sam's low point there? Yeah? Sam. Not bad, Sam. No. <laughs> no. You've got to go from Sam. there to there. We're doing it again, bro. We're going vertical. <laughs> Closest, 300 mil. Here, yeah. Sam. Downwards, yeah? Downwards. Can he go first this time? Yep. Yeah, Closest to the foot. I'll tell you what we're going to measure. Closest to the foot and the plumbness as well. Right. And then if we get the draw again, then you've got to go circle, 100 mil centre. <laughs> 300 mil, sir. Straight in. Nice. Oh, oh, Mate, that's fucking professional. Oh, that ain't bad. It's less than fair, I, I like think. That. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's the... He's copying. Yeah. Oh, longer. Ooh, is it longer? Yeah, it's definitely Ooh. longer than yours, Sam. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think Sam's short. I think I might be, you know. He done you, Sam. <laughs> he done you, Sam. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, they both look sensible on the plum as well. Yeah, they do. He beat you. Yours looks like. I'll be honest. Yours looks like nice and light. I don't know, Mine man. I think they look sensible. They both look sensible. Either way, I think it's a very good brush. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie. What's your least favourite and favourite pest to work with? Probably bed bugs. What? The favourite or least favourite? Least favourite. Least favourite. Least favourite. Uh, they're just a uh, very stubborn pest to get rid of. Oh, um, are they? They make you cringe a bit, so yeah, I don't really like them. Can you see it? I've never seen them. Yeah, they're you can like, actually probably, see them. the adults are like a similar size to a ladybird, so you can see them. Oh, right. Yeah. Really? Yeah, pretty big. And what's your favourite? Favourite pest? Easiest? Probably, I'd say, easiest one, wasps. In yeah. and out, treat it, pump the nest for the powder, walk away. Normally you don't get called back, easy enough to do, and it's always in the summer, so nice oh, time to right, yeah. And it's, like, it's better to work in summer, isn't it? That's it. How are you? How are you I'm feeling good, after man. the chili? 
Yeah? All good, man, all good. All good. What's it like working with Ollie? Oh, it's amazing, man. Best job I've ever had. I've had a bunch of jobs and I hated them, just like bare depressing and stuff. Yeah. This job's good. Laugh, you know. He's a good guy. Good guy, man, good guy. Take care of me, man. It's a good job. What's the worst job you've ever done? Uh, proofing, I've done like an eight hour proofing job. Basically, it was just in a loft for the whole day with insulation and shit and piss. Like, stinking, uh, couldn't breathe. It was the summer, so it was ridiculously hot no. up there. But that was it, that was pretty rough, but apart from that, yeah, that's it, man. Have you ever controlled pests abroad? Abroad? Um, no, but every time I go away with the missus, I get the torch out and I check the bed for bed bugs because <laughs> I'm a bit paranoid. But no, I've never done anything abroad. Where do you look if you're trying to find bed bugs? Uh, we look, pull up the mattress, you see where the little bits are oh, that you can lift up and the actual mattress itself. Yeah, yeah. Lift under them, all the cracks and crevices is where right. they'll be in between the seams. So you look at all them little Have you ever found behind them? the fed bedboard. No, I haven't actually. You haven't. Other than on jobs, no. Oh, okay, I bet you learn all the ins and outs of the industry, yes. where where to go and where not to go with the exactly, restaurant. Exactly, yeah, I mean, I, I try not to eat out because you see some disgusting stuff. I mean, I've been to, a, got called out to a, a Chinese restaurant and the rats were re literally running around the pans as I went out the back. No. Jumping out the bins, there's people outside eating in the restaurant. And I'm not allowed to, to uh, report them or anything, but um, I said, look, I give them a quote, told them what needs to be done. They said, too expensive, jog me on let people still eat in the restaurant so that's crazy puts me off of eating out. and you can't do no, anything about that either can you that's horrible yeah. how can people get hold of you you can get hold of me on instagram on uh, gold pest control you can also go on the website google gold pest control will come up with 24 hour call out um, Follow our Instagram, follow our story. I've also got another page called Oliver versus Multiple Myeloma, which is a bit more about my journey and what I'm doing. And you can follow the things I'm doing there as well. Yeah, you touch upon that. What What is your story then? I, I haven't actually found out. So uh, when I was 28 years old, I flew the missus out to uh, Mexico, proposed to her on the beach. She said yes. Two months later, I got diagnosed. I was having really bad back pain, back and forth from the doctors. Eventually, they done a PET scan on me, found 11 fractures in my spine, I was in a wheelchair, diagnosed me with multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is a blood cancer that affects your bones, makes your bones quite weak. Um, so I've done two stem cell transplants, done loads of chemotherapy, they gave me five years, because it, it was class incurable. Um, I've done loads of things, 40 day water fast, loads of different things to try and, try and bring the numbers down. And recently I went back and I'd done a trial at UCLH. I was the second person in the world to do it. It was called CAR T-cell therapy. They take your T-cells, genetically modify them, give them back to you, and that's meant to recognize myeloma. And so far, thank God it has recognized it and I am in complete remission. So uh, I'm on a mission now to uh, do raise more awareness for multiple myeloma. There's loads more to the story. You can, as I said, follow my page. You can see what we were doing. I opened my business from my hospital bed in order to take it down a non-toxic route uh, because they thought that the chemicals I was using could have been linked to the cancer I had. So we do try and use completely non-toxic and we only use chemicals as a last resort. And now I'm doing a big event in uh, this year, April, hopefully going to be doing a boxing event in the O2 or in Bethnal Green. Uh, Anthony Joshua will be in my corner. Hopefully if he can still make it um, and we're going to get some other big names there promoting it and I'm going to fight on that show to raise awareness for multiple myeloma to show you I can go from the ring, uh, from the wheelchair to the ring. And uh, yeah, as I said, follow my page, Oliver versus multiple myeloma. There's more to the story there. Or follow us at Gold Pest Control. And remember, when the pests get bold, call Gold. It's been an amazing day, legend. Well, that's at the beginning of the show. Same feeling. Yeah. Appreciate you, brother. Cheers, man. When we first yeah. met, when we done a check and show thing, I said to him earlier on, felt like God sent you that day. I told you, didn't I? Yeah, mate, the way it happened as well. Like, felt like God sent you because we had that chocolate bar and we couldn't get it today. And they picked me out of the blue as well. To so still it. get that feeling, man. Saying so so right with him, bruv. He's here for a reason. You're Good here man. to do big things, bruv. Good man. Appreciate Trust it. me. I said I want to leave my footprint on the earth, so. Yeah, I think yeah. you will, Geese. There's loads of little gold vans everywhere. Little so. man. That's it. Come on, bruv.